Roger, and uh, in this video, I'm going to do my best to explain everything that's going on with on the, uh, the Arduino controller box here. Uh, I propped up a light to hopefully uh, provide a little better recording for this. Um, up in front, you can see I have my power inputs, um, the 12 volt DC. Uh, there, 12 volt DC there, and then 5 volt uh, DC. Uh, those are feeding different parts of uh, of the controller. I could have maybe combined those into a single one that was a little higher amps, but uh, it just seemed easier to, to separate them out. Um, and I'll try to explain how that's all being hooked in. But on the side here, I've got uh, going down the line uh, my different components, my relays, one and two, which are uh, those power strips you saw earlier. Um, I have my feeder and uh, my infrared, which is uh, with, uh, handling their uh, TV remote control inputs. Um, those are my, uh, my, my LCDs down here, my RO. Um, uh, float switches, my sump float switches, uh, skimmer fl float switches, and uh, the back one is my temperature sensors, and then behind that is my uh, my pH sensor. So in here you can see I have my Arduino sort of buried beneath all these uh, wires which are connected to breadboards. Uh, I found breadboards to be a lot easier to work with as I was uh, experimenting with stuff, so I didn't I didn't try to solder it solder it to a to a hard board. Um, also, I haven't really had any problems with wires coming out. Maybe once or twice if I knocked it around, but this system's been set up for almost a year now, and uh, it's been running well. Um, so, on the the left hand side here, uh, those LED lights that you see on, those are just simple um, circuits for the float switches and um, have the LED light go on if the float is, uh, is down or up. Uh, and then the, uh, those are my TIP uh, 120 transistors um, that are going to the relay. You have to give the relay a little boost to turn those on or off. And then way back there, kind of hard to see. I think you can see it right there. Um, that is my stepper motor controller and that's what uh, controls the, uh, the feeder. Uh, and then back there with the big battery on it, that's my, um, that's my uh, uh, time controller or my, uh, my time board uh, on RTC that uh, basically will keep the time even if the system is uh, restarted the power goes off um, it's really convenient so you don't have to program the time every time you uh, upload to the board and then back on the bread, other breadboard there you can see I've got some other uh, uh, tip transistors and then I have a little speaker I was going to use to sound a little alarm uh, but I never got around to doing that maybe I will soon and over here I've got my fidgets um, pH uh, board. I tried to originally tried to build a board to uh, calculate pH input myself based on a regular pH sensor and uh, that turned out to be pretty hard so I just uh, bought that little board. Um, and that is pretty much it. Of course I've got my USB which I don't I think I failed to mention earlier and that uh, that just goes directly into the USB here of the of the Arduino, um, so I can easily plug into that and upload a new uh, new software when I need to. That's it. Thanks. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to to answer. Um, I know I don't have a full circuit board for, uh, layout for this, uh, but uh, most of the circuits you know, individually are pretty easy to do if you want to try to do them yourself. Thanks.